Good afternoon. We begin today at four with an update to a police shooting that wounded an Indianapolis man sleeping in a car in his grandmother's driveway. Today, two officers pleaded not guilty after being indicted in the case. We have team coverage of this story, and in a moment, we'll get more on the officer's court appearance. But let's actually begin with Scott Swan. And Scott is sharing the message from the shooting victim that happened at a news conference just this afternoon, Scott. Yeah, Dustin, Anthony Macklin and his family and pastor all talk with the media today about the shooting that took place in December of 2022. Police body cam video shows officers opening fire on this car. Anthony Macklin was asleep inside. Officers say Macklin had a gun in his lap. Police say officers started shooting when Macklin woke up and started to move around. Officers fired more than 30 shots that day and said they recovered a 9 millimeter handgun from the front seat of the car. Macklin was hospitalized 18 days. He underwent six surgeries. Today we saw him at this news conference and his attorney filed a federal lawsuit against the officers and the police chief. Macklin was asked today what he would say to the officers who opened fire. You guys do not know what I have been through, what you guys put me through that day. And um, you know you guys did something that just wasn't right. And we want to feel safe and free to drive around in our communities free of violence and the fear of violence. But unfortunately, in this community that I pastor and serve in, much of the fear of violence is due to the law enforcement in this community. So according to this lawsuit that was filed today, Macklin has incurred over $900,000 in medical bills. He told reporters, God got him through it. And guys, there was really this outcry at this news conference that something needs to be done, that the officers need to be suspended and eventually fired. The pastor called on the Department of Justice to investigate IMPD, saying it's clear that IMPD cannot police themselves. We'll continue to follow this story. It's incredible he survived. It is, you yeah. bet. Yeah, all right, thanks, Scott. As for the officers involved in Macklin's case, both men were in the co in court today for the first time three days after being indicted. Our Samantha Johnson was inside the courtroom for that hearing. She breaks down what we learned and what comes next. Well, this is the first time we saw both officers in Marion County Court today, both entering a preliminary plea of not guilty. And we actually heard from both of those officers inside that courtroom today, Carl Chandler and Alexander Gregory, both sharing short testimony about their lives in central Indiana and their years of service at IMPD. Inside the courtroom today, the judge issuing a no contact order for Anthony Macklin's family. She also made it clear to both men that they are not allowed to possess firearms or deadly weapons during this case. Today, the judge also lowered the bond for both of the men to $3,000 cash. They both left the courtroom today in custody of the Marion County Sheriff's Office. As for what comes next, we know both Chandler and Gregory will be back in Marion County Court coming up in December with a jury trial set to begin on December 18th. In Indianapolis this afternoon, I'm Samantha Johnson, 13 News. Samantha, thank you. And still ahead at five, we're hearing from the lawyer for the officers about the investigation into their actions and taking a closer look at the lawsuit just filed by Macklin's family. Of course, as always, you can follow the latest updates right now on the 13 News app.